All right, guys. The last two weeks, every day, has had no rain. And it has been 98 to 100 degrees with higher temperatures for heat indexes. During this time of the year, I no longer fish all day. And to me, the best time is, is in the morning. From Memorial Weekend all the way to Labor Day, the absolute best time to fish is right when the sun's coming up. I was here when it was completely dark, sitting here waiting it out. Get there as early as you can it is the most important thing. I know a lot of people that get there at 7, 7.30, and it's not early enough. You're going to miss the most important morning bite. You're going to get there at the tail end. The reason, now this is just my opinion, the fishing is better from Memorial to Labor Day in the mornings is the nighttime allows the water to cool off several degrees. That water gets really hot during the summer months, and it, the fish just turn off. Uh, and then in the evening, you got the bugs, and it's been hot all day. Well, hey, Mr. Turtle. So morning is the, the key to success during the dog days of summer. All right, guys, we got a f female three-toed box turtle. How you doing, buddy? Definitely a female, real plain looking. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am fishing a very secluded smallmouth stream. I'm starting off with a bone whopper plopper 110 targeting big smallmouth. Stay tuned. I've never been here before. And I'm going to tell you something. This is one wild and scenic looking river right here. I am so far out in the middle of nowhere that I haven't had a phone signal for over 30 miles. Just to give you an idea. Let's see if we can get a plopper right here in this first hole. It looks promising. Oh yeah, first cast guys, very first cast. All right, it's not a small mouth though, it's a large mouth. There is no spotted bass in here. It is all small mouth, large mouth, sunfish, and goggle eye. Well, that didn't take long. Boy, I got him good. I'm gonna have to get the pliers out of my back pocket. That was cool guys, very first throw, man. Good sign. Now, if I would have had her with me, which she didn't want to go because she didn't want to get up at... I left the house at 3 in the morning to get here at 5. Um, I would have put the canoe in and walked it back and forth, up and down, three holes each way. But I'm going to try to wait it and see what happens without the canoe. I got everything waterproofed and uh, inside a rubber bag, inside a backpack. And it should work like that. And then I got the pliers in my back pocket. Got everything double waterproofed. The plopper for the wind, guys. It looks like that's what I'm going to use for the first two hours. Then I'll switch to soft plastics. All right, guys. A little large mouth, about a half a pound. It is a start, though. What a beautiful place, man. This place is just absolutely gorgeous. Let's get him back in. I can't believe I caught one on the first cast. That is so awesome. This tree is kind of in my way, but I'm making it work. I'm after numbers right now. Hmm. There we go. Oh yeah, nice one guys. On the plopper, nice blow up, nice fish. This has gotta be a two pounder, feels like it anyway. 
Oh yeah. Nice fish, nice small mouth. All right, I ain't gonna give him two, but that's a decent fish. Oh yeah, he's 13. And it's a small mouth. Yes. Yes. Not bad, guys. It's what I came for. On the bone plopper. Very good choice for the early hot morning bite. Indeed. He's actually, yeah, he's 13 easily. Not a bad fish. At all. It's a beautiful smallmouth. Let's see if I can get another one. This day's looking up. More fish. Man, what a beauty. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice fish, whatever this is. Probably a smallmouth. Yep, sure is. Boy, it's a nice one. There we go. On the pink pulsar, guys. I have switched off of the top waters. It just quit producing after 10 minutes. I don't know what happened, to be honest. It, right when the sun came up, they were interested. And ever since then, they haven't been, so I took it off. Oh yeah, another one, right in those weeds, man. There we go, right on the weeds. About the same size, small guy, but I'm happy to start catching them, guys. It just took switching from that top water. I should have probably been using this all along. Now, I did catch bigger fish, but I'm definitely getting the numbers with the soft plastics. Another little guy. Probably even a little smaller, he's about nine inches. Got him, yes! There we go, as soon as it hit the water, he grabbed it, guys. This may be a little nicer, too. He was right on them rocks over there. That was a long cast, about a 50 yard cast. Nope, he's about the same, but I'll take him, like I said. Oh, it's a fat little thing, though. I think I know what lure I'm going to keep using. Smallmouth cannot resist pink, guys. I don't know what it is. They love bubblegum color. That hot pink. Alright, another little eight, nine incher. But it's a fish. Beautiful smallie. There we go. Yes. Another smallie, guys. Another twin to the last two. Come on now. Give me a 16 or 17 or bigger. Come on now. Gotta be one in here. 
another dink. Like I said, I did get the two nice ones this morning. Yes, gotta lie. Yeah, oh my god. Big two pound smallmouth shadow in it. Oh my. It's a nice shadow bass though. There's a big old smallmouth below me. Guys, I gotta get him. It might be my biggest one of the day if I can land it. He knows I'm here now though. That's the problem. Not a bad little shadow bass. Beautiful. It's not big by any means, but I'll take him. wasn't that interesting until I reeled in that goggle eye and then he went berserk. Oh yeah, oh I got a nice fish here guys. Oh yeah, biggest one of the day, without a doubt. I can tell by how he's fighting. This might be two pounds, possibly. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's decent, at least 13. Maybe 14 if I'm lucky. Oh man, he's using that current to his advantage too. Nice fish, he was over there in that shade, guys. Oh, please, come on, come on. Like I said, no fish can resist these Barbie suicide shad. Oh, what a beautiful small mouth, guys. That is a beaut. And he's smaller than I thought. It was just the current was so strong. He's only about 12. I mean, it's still nice. But he don't get, he don't get quite the uh, size I thought he did. It's still a nice fish regardless. That really made it worth coming right there at least. A little bit anyway. Not a bad smallmouth though. It really isn't. He's right at 12 inches anyway. Nice for me, because I don't get many smallmouth. All the smallmouth streams where I live get pounded to death. I always get leftovers. That is a beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful, look at that belly. Big old belly. All right, we're gonna get her back in. 
if it's a her. What I'm gonna do, put her up here so she don't spook the rest of the fish. Hopefully she'll stay up here. Beauty, what a beauty. Oh yeah, there we go. Small mouth. Heck yeah. About 10. Maybe, yeah, about 10. Heck yeah. I ended up doing all right, guys. Just didn't get many big fish. Two decent ones. But no giants. No 14s or above or anything like that but it was still a lot of fun nice and relaxing on my day off that's all that matters the best way to beat the heat is to get in with them walk in the water I'm telling you nothing beats it